Next is the larynx. The larynx is organized into three major regions. Vestibule, which is between the entrance of the larynx and the vestibular folds, considered to be false vocal cords. And the vestibular folds contain the vestibular ligaments, which are thickened inferior edges of the quadrangular membrane. And next are the ventricles. The portion between the false vocal cords superiorly and the true vocal cords inferiorly, they form vocal folds. The vocal folds contain the vocal ligaments, which are thickenings of the superior edge of the conus elasticus. Vibrations of the adducted vocal ligaments with expiration produce a sound. And the third one is infraglottic cavity. So portion of the larynx inferior to the vocal folds is called as infraglottic cavity. It communicates distally with the lumen of the trachea. So the larynx is composed of a cartilaginous skeleton that is the thyroid cartilage composed of two laminae and the two pairs of cornua. And the next is laminae. The plates which form the majority of the thyroid cartilage called laminae. And the indentation in the midline is known as the superior thyroid notch and the inferior pharyngeal constrictor, sternothyroid and thyrohyoid muscles all attach to the laminae. And the next is cornua. Finger-like projections that extend superiorly and inferiorly from the laminae. Thyrohyoid membrane is a connective tissue membrane which connects the thyroid cartilage to the hyoid bone. And the next is cricoid cartilage. It is composed of a narrow anterior arch and a broad posterior lamina. And what is the arch? This arch connects the thyroid cartilage superiorly via median cricothyroid ligament and to the first tracheal ring inferiorly via cricotracheal ligament. And the next is lamina. So it articulates superiorly with the arteroid cartilages and inferior cornua of the thyroid cartilage. And what is the clinical correlate? In the event of an emergency, if an airway cannot be established by endotracheal intubation, then cricothyroidotomy can be done where the cricothyroid membrane is incised. And next is the arteroid cartilages. Pyramidal cartilages that articulates at their base with the lamina of the cricoid cartilage and uh, the muscular process that extends laterally and provides attachment points for the muscles. And next is the vocal process that extends anteriorly and it is the attachment point for the vocal ligaments. And uh, these are the following are the muscles of the larynx. Cricothyroid which tilts the thyroid cartilage forwards and the main action tenses and adducts the vocal ligaments and next is the posterior cricoarytenoid which laterally rotates the arytenoid cartilage and the action is abducts the vocal ligaments. So note an important point over here that these muscles are the only abductors of the vocal ligaments and are thus extremely important in maintaining an open airway. And the next one is the lateral cricoarytenoid which medially rotates the arytenoid cartilage and the main action, it adducts the vocal ligaments. And uh, arytenoidus, composed of transverse as well as oblique parts and the action is adducts the vocal ligaments. And uh, thyroarytenoidus, from the thyroid laminae to the arytenoid cartilage and the action is adducts the vocal ligaments. And the thyroepiglotticus, from the thyroid laminae to the lateral aspect of the epiglottis and the main action it holds epiglottis closed during swallowing to prevent the entrance of the food or liquid into the larynx during deglutition and what are the nerves of larynx one is the superior laryngeal nerve which it divides into internal and external laryngeal nerves the internal laryngeal nerve enters the thyrohyoid membrane with superior laryngeal artery and provides sensory innervation to the mucosa superior to the vocal folds. And next is the external laryngeal nerve 
which travels with the superior thyroid artery and provides motor innervation to the cricothyroid muscles. And next are the recurrent laryngeal nerves. So one is right, another one is left. The right one loops under the subclavian artery and the left one loops under the arch of iota. And both ascend posterior to the esophagus and enter the larynx at the level of cricothyroid articulation. And motor innervation of all muscles of the larynx except the cricothyroids are uh, explained over here in the nerve section of the larynx and provide sensory innervation to the mucosa of the larynx inferior to the vocal folds. And the next is arteries of the larynx. One is the superior laryngeal artery which is the branch of superior thyroid artery and travels with the internal laryngeal nerve. And next one is the inferior laryngeal artery which is a branch of inferior thyroid artery and it travels along with the recurrent laryngeal nerve. So this is what we discussed about uh, the anatomy as well as the physiology of larynx.